What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ, and today we have Destiny versus the Saint in the Center. They debated a little bit ago, but in the comment section in my last video, I believe it was my last video, um, some people asked me to react to this debate. So now we must get to it. Fight! Hey there, Destiny. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Were you talking about my school? Is that what was going on in here? We're just warming up. We wanted to get some background on you because there was a funny thing going on on the internet. What's your fanatics, they, they deluded themselves into thinking that you're brighter than you are. You see, because you have a history of de debating internet personalities who probably similar to yourself, lack experience and sophistication. And so now you're about to get exposed. And I said, you know, before we go in, let's take a little bit of background on who the guy is. And we saw in your own bio, you're making excuses for why you didn't complete a basic degree, a very easy degree at a third tier university. Uh, <laughs> Ring's moving slow. He's befuddled already. He's befuddled. Yeah. Okay. Here. So tell, tell, wait, just real quick, chief. Okay. What kind of convo do you want to have here? Do you, Throw so, a lifeline. Let's do two things. Number yeah, one, great. let's go through and start with a little bit of interview so we can get familiar with you. Yeah, go right, for so it. Okay. We'll, we'll share a couple questions, get familiar with you. Uh huh. And then we'll do the thing that you did on your stream, which is you played my content at length. So we'll play a couple clips of yours and then we'll, we'll discuss it and react to it. And then if you want to get into any other political items, we can do that. But you'll notice that the title of this stream is twofold. Uh, number one, it states that you're racist. <laughs> and the funny thing is I almost never use this term. I think it's overused and oh most people God. are lying and they're using that as an excuse to explain why they personally are losers. But in your case, you expose yourself. So we'll, we'll review that. So in previous videos that I've done, I've spoken about black people claiming that white people are racist. And I said that certain black people should not be allowed to get the race card because they abuse it. They max it out. They don't pay back their debt and they just keep swiping. And right now we got to give the point to Destiny because immediately in the onslaught, in the early part of the debate, like he automatically is pulling a race card. Bro, Destiny is not racist. I've seen extensive videos that destiny has produced i've seen him get featured on different platforms and he has never been racist he's never came off racist at all so yeah we got to give a point to destiny on that one let's continue that piece and then there's a, a second thing you did which is an abuse of language and i find it to be very disgusting and dangerous mm -hmm. and you use this term homophobia which actually doesn't really exist in real life. It's something that the left often does. You guys like to create words. And then you like to instrumentalize words and also pseudoscience to achieve your ends. And so we're gonna discuss this concept of homophobia. And then, you know, if you wanna add on anything on the back end, oh, fantastic. How's that sound? Uh, it sounds good. I'm used to really emotional people lashing out, calling me racist, and I'm used to really emotional people being homophobic when they have nothing else to say. So yeah, ah, wherever you want to go, we can go. We can go wherever you want. What? What? Uh, I'm curious okay, on the school okay. thing. Wait. So why do you think I quit school? You wrote that you quit school, and your website. Let's let's confirm. Your website is destiny.gg. Is that you? That's me. Okay. And your website it reads quote i went to the university of nebraska at omaha and before we carry on we're both clear that this is a third tier university this is a very low ranking university right it's my it's a state school in my yeah state i didn't have money to go to a private school can we just keep it real and say that this is like shitville university can we just like oh, not lie about that or are we gonna pretend well no so okay all right so we got to give another point to destiny and he goes from calling rest destiny excuse me he goes from calling destiny racist to now basically degrading an entire university i honestly at this point think everybody has heard of colorado university especially because at this current time in the date the head coach for the football team is Deion sanders and he has brought in so much attention to that school that to get a um to get a ticket to a colorado game it costs like around five hundred dollars per ticket so this school is very popular at the moment um but of course during it when this video was taken that wasn't the case but to go and degrade an entire university it's almost like to me 
and this is just for me, it's almost like a real racist person saying, oh, you're from that neighborhood. We know you're stupid or we know you're illiterate because you you live for, in that neighborhood. So the same thing that he's trying to prove with Destiny is ironic that he's using those same racist tactics that real racist people use. It's just kind of ironic. Oh, you went to this school. It's a low tier school. You must be stupid type of, you know, snarky, condescending tone is, you know, we got to give the point to Destiny on that one uh so far as right now the saint and sinner not looking too good to be honest let's continue oh i would say to people that i highly recommend going to state schools if they serve the purpose that you have i think it's really stupid is to take on a whole bunch of well excuse me sir let me finish let me let me finish my answer right i recommend people do state schools because why would i, I mean, go to a university you think, can we agree that why it's would a I... tier university yeah it's a low tier university but i'm going for a music degree well, there's no point unless i'm going to berkeley or juilliard it's not going to matter as long as the studio is good it really doesn't matter what school you go to right you understand that like a music performance degree from another state school doesn't matter. For music performance, no, the only thing that matters- matter you go to school. That's why like, for example, Barack Obama went to Harvard that helped him a great deal in pursuing the presidency. Do you so think, do you think that, do you think that, do you, do you think that the school that you graduate from- indicate your pedigree. Well, I'm just curious. Do you think the school you graduate from with a music performance degree, do you think that's gonna mean anything when you go to apply well, for- well, Don't change the subject. Just well, no, no, I'm just, I'm asking you. I'm just, I just wanna, I just wanna hear it. Are we, wait, are we here to have a conversation or are you just trying to do a hit piece, dude? One second, my dear boy. I just want to see if you're living on the planet Earth. You well, see, no, no, I, and, I, and I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but you're, you're just trying to do emotional. a hit piece. I'm, I'm not emotional. emotional at all, but I'm not going to sit here and let you, like, drag no, me around in the conversation if you don't have a real talk. It's okay to acknowledge that. It's going to be a boring talk. Oh, it could be, an, it could be, it could actually be entertaining and engaging too. Like we have the oh, ability man. right now oh, to have man. an interesting just, talk. Calm down. Calm I'm down. super just calm, calm right now, dude. I don't know if you know what it sounds like when somebody's excited, but this ain't it. Calm down, calm down. Just relax real quick. I'm just asking you uh -huh. to find out if you're on planet Earth. I'm you definitely on planet Earth. Yeah, for sure. Say you asked me, you said, Marquette, you uh -huh. went to, if I were you, you yeah. said, Marquette, you went to University of Nebraska at yeah. Omaha. Uh -huh. Is that a low tier university? I would say it absolutely is a low tier university. It's very clear by the rankings on U.S. Uh, News and World Report. It's clearly low tier. And I went there to save money or I went there because of this. But I wouldn't start giving long, verbose explanations because that's just an indicator of insecurity. And what's more, you shouldn't try to defend it because you didn't even get a degree. You dropped out. You're a college dropout. So just say that I dropped out. I couldn't. I couldn't hack it. That's that's all I'm saying. Is like you don't have to get angry and defensive. Okay, sure. So the, the actual answer is that like different universities are good for different purposes. For a music performance degree, as long as the studio is good, you go to the studio. In terms of overall rankings of university, yeah, it's probably a really low ranked university. I it's the Thank UNO. You. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, but well, I'm not going to pay out the ass to go to a state school uh, or to go to like a private school somewhere else. Yeah. But what's that your what's your longest, um, what's the your longest possible explanation? To so, me do you have any me, idea how insecure you have to be to look up the ranking the longest, of the school that the I went to? Possible explanation you could ever gotcha. give to someone okay. saying, "Can you agree that it's a all right?" Go. All right, so we're going to have to give a point to the saint and the sinner, and hear me out on this. The reason why I'm giving him a point one, not because of the actual topic that they are talking about, it's because it's clear and obvious that bringing up the school that Destiny went to, there's some sort of of insecurity there for maybe not completing the college uh a degree course or even just the school in itself i don't i can't really tell i can't really tell what it is but he's obviously getting flustered he's obviously um dealing with something within that and that's why the saint in the center continues to poke at it he's constantly poking at that point because he's starting to get some type of emotional rise destiny is not becoming unhinged but there is an emotional reaction to this topic that destiny is having I I think he should have pulled away from the topic and redirected it back to the original talking points that the um, debate was going to be about even though the saint and sinner was cutting him off whenever he would try to pull away a little bit because of that emotional reaction the saint and the sinner did kind of pry at it and uh destiny ended up feeding into it so we got to give a point to the saint and the sinner just for the emotional reaction that destiny was having Go for it. what's your hit me, hit me up with your next question dude to do a test to see if we're on planet earth together but you you're defensive and you're insecure gotcha you see achilles says finally took him five minutes to answer that right i asked you a simple yes or no question and then you got to give me a long story well i'm not gonna and let you jerk me around in the conversation right like what, what would oh be the please 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 no not the sexual stuff come on man like it's Ooh, early yikes, oh, we gotta pause that. We gotta pause that. dude you think about other dudes dicks more than i we do that's that really yet. 
weird but that, yeah. if that's like if that's how you swing bro that's cool i've seen a lot of homophobic people that secretly want to yeah. suck a dick and if that's what you're after i man, hear you if, po if cool. possible if we can try to avoid using that word okay as long as you stop making the sexual sexual jokes i'm cool for it too all right um i actually didn't you're the first person to say anything that was homoerotic but but that's fine that's fine if that if that eroticized you my dude that says way more about you than it does about me there but you know. keep going okay. anyways on your, good. I on, see your bio, yeah. on your bio on your website it reads uh -huh. i went to the university of nebraska at omaha and majored in music performance, but eventually dropped out due to conflict with work at the time. I feel like that's one of those things where I'm like, bro, like, first off, if you didn't get a degree, there's no need to even list that. That's like me saying, like, I went to the mall, walked in the Gucci store and left. It's like you didn't buy anything <laughs> while you were there. That doesn't need to be a part of the narrative. It's almost like irrelevant. Do you think I, think I didn't take any classes while there, I was at school? Wait, do you think I didn't take any classes at school? What's that? Do you think I didn't take any classes while I was there? You don't go on LinkedIn and list a school with an incomplete degree. I'm not on, that's not, a, wait, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Is my website Number LinkedIn? Number one. Wait, no, no, I'm just a question, just a question. Is my, is my website that, LinkedIn? The reason is my website LinkedIn? Is my website LinkedIn? Can you answer a single question I'm going to ask you? Or do you really it just do this steamroll bullshit on every guest you bring on so you can like look good? I know you're hungry for my clout, so I know you want me to stay here, okay? So let me ask no, you, I'm just asking you a question. Destiny. Is my website LinkedIn? Destiny. That's a whether super easy yes or no question. Not, is my website not, LinkedIn? Is my website, is my website LinkedIn? I just want to establish who you really are before we get going. Let, let's establish who you really are. You don't have to hide from like, for example, let's look at it on the other side. Well, no, 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 no. How about, me, how about, how about this? 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 You said to me, Marquette, did yeah. you go to Berkeley and get a degree? I would say, sir, I did that in three years. Yes, I did. If you said, then did you go to Johns Hopkins University and take a master's degree while working full time? I say, yes, that's correct. So it's like the same thing. I wouldn't have like a long story. I just say, yes, that's correct. Or no, that's incorrect. So the question is why, when we're verifying yours, like you get an all defense. Okay. Is my website LinkedIn? Why are you getting so defensive? I'm not defensive. You're you're asked asking me, you asked me. You're reading right my you biography. My website, LinkedIn, you're reading so you're my website. Everyone knows the answer. Listen, to. chief. If so you go to listen, if you go to my Wikipedia page, if you go to my Wikipedia page, it says UNO on it. Ask them why they include it. I don't know. Some people We're like to know what you, what you did. Stop so, yeah. with the red hair. What I did was people ask me, "What is my education? What is my educational background?" I did some college, and I wrote where I went to college. I didn't say I have a degree. Very good. Very good. Now, truth be told, <laughs> yeah. did you fail to complete your degree because of school or because you're a screw up? Oh, man. No, uh, bro. No. <laughs> oh, no. So the next point that he begins to go into is gives him this terrible comparison or not even that to ask him this very misleading question. Did you drop out of school because of work or you are a screw up? Now, in the beginning of the video or the beginning of the debate, he asks Destiny or he lets Destiny know these are the different debating points that we're going to go over in this video. But after they agreed on these topics, he has did nothing but slander Destiny the entire time. So we got to give another point to Destiny. So far, it is three to one. Destiny is up. He is winning in the duel just because because there's no there's no substance right now that is coming out the saint and sinner's mouth at all whatsoever he's just literally degrading destiny and i believe he's doing it for his audience um i believe he's doing it to generate some type of rise out of destiny so and and my the way that i see it is he's trying to generate this rise out of destiny to get him flustered so now when they do go into the different talking points or the different points of the debate that it's going to be hard for destiny to stay on track and to build concise and structured arguments because he's flustered and when you get flustered your mind gets foggy you're it's racing at a million miles per second so it's hard to build substantial arguments against somebody who knows what they're doing this topic of prestige of the school that destiny dropped out of and if he dropped out because he's a loser or whatever he said has nothing to do with the talking points we're speaking about destiny being a racist supposedly and the lie of homophobia so all this stuff that he's trying to build is irrelevant to the entire conversation we're supposed to be battling points of views we're not supposed to be battling each other in a personal perspective so we got to give the point to destiny on that one the saint in the center is tripping in my opinion your degree because of work or because you're a screw up I mean, I probably could have tried harder to do both, I guess. You guess. So I'm asking you straight, like, was it work or are you a screw up? 
Well, I don't think it was possible to finish that degree in four or five years while working overnight and providing for myself. I don't think it was possible for me to do it. Okay, so your story, I just wanna make sure I understand. Mm -hmm. So your narrative is that you as a, a young white kid enrolled, did you have any kids or like, do you have any children you're providing uh, for? I have one, but not at the time, no. I said at that time, are you paying attention, my dear boy? I'm I said, paying at attention, time, dog, this is super cringe. If you want me to stay, I just need you to turn the cringe down like at least like five points. It is kind of cringe. It's so aggressive. I didn't have any children at the time, no. Okay. So I'm just trying to establish who you are, right? Well, you're so not. You're I, trying to railroad a narrative of me to like no, 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 yeah, no. poison the well in front of your audience. Like, uh -huh. That's not, what it sounds like. No, no, no. We're going to get into it. We're just establishing who you are because okay. the internet is filled with charlatans. You're uh, one of them. I am, yeah. And yeah, you're absolutely one of them. And I want it to be clear. And that's what we're agreeing on okay. the fact. There's a reason why I've been, been here for 12 years and you're going to be gone in two. But okay, yeah, Mr. Charlatan Exposer, go ahead. Tell me. Yeah, it's very yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, so. Destiny been here a while. Your story is that you didn't have any kids. Mm -hmm. You were a young white kid in university and you couldn't complete university because you were working a job. That's, that's your story? It. That's my story. Good job. Nice. You can read. I guess you learned that at Johns Hopkins, huh? Getting that master's degree. Got you. Got you. I see. So I just want to, okay, so now we have that. Mm -hmm. you, you went to university and basically dropped out and you have this long story about, oh, it, I had to have a job. It's not really a long story. It's like one sentence long. Maybe that's long for you. I don't know, maybe you're not a great reader, I guess. I don't know, maybe you need to go for the PhD instead, but yeah, it's perhaps. not that long. It seemed like you read it pretty quickly. And then in terms, you know, I'm just going through your website real quick because I want to have some that's background. Good. Cool, you can go through my Wikipedia as well. I have one of those, you know, if that's uh, that makes you so, more impressed, you know. No, I looked no, for yours I, and I couldn't find one, so, you know, but... Who you are. I can see that you're very proud of Internet Cloud. We're going to clarify oh. all of that. Well, I'm not just proud of Internet Cloud. I mean, I have a big bank account, too. I mean, what, what do you want to compare? I mean, yeah. you can do whatever you, you want. We can compare bank accounts. Uh -huh. You see, you haven't done your research, clearly. You see, you're one of those goofballs that you think the Internet is everything. I'll give you a, a quick mm -hmm. example real quick of how I look at you. Gotcha. This is how Go I look it. at you. Okay. So I, I have a, a buddy of mine. is Michael Bloomberg, right? I have more YouTube <laughs> I'm sure you do, man. Right? I, I just YouTube got off the phone with my friend Soros and he told me all about you. So don't worry. I know what's up here. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. So I have more YouTube subscribers than Michael Bloomberg, right? Mm -hmm. But Michael Bloomberg is way more important than me in real life. Mm -hmm. And in real life, it turns out that like that's the real measure. Yeah, but Michael Bloomberg's so, not begging for my clout on his like failed YouTube channel. So I think that's so the difference between you it, and Bloomberg there. But go oh, ahead. Hold on one second, my also, Michael point. Bloomberg also you're, has you're a Wikipedia you're article. You're so really technically, hurt. I've got Why more in so common angry, with him right? than you do. So, but you know. Why are you so angry? How, I'm not angry at all, dude. Why do you think I'm angry? Do you think another point has to go to Destiny? Um. This whole Destiny is only a big figure on the internet is so it's so cringy to me, like Destiny said, because you're playing the same game that Destiny's playing, right? You're on YouTube, you're trying to generate traffic to your channel, you're trying to build a fan base, you're trying to build a brand, and these are all things that Destiny has a, I would assume, I'm not sure how long this guy's been doing YouTube, but let's assume he's been doing it for about two to three years, right? Destiny has nine to ten, possibly more years years on you in this industry so he has a, a pretty big head start on the saint in the center so to come on here and try to call him this internet guy and this doesn't translate to real life it's totally false it's totally false because we live in a day and age where most people are on the internet four to five hours a day on average four to five hours a day whether they're on instagram facebook youtube um, whether they're streaming, you know, shows and movies, whatever it is, people are on the internet all day long in this day and age. So to try to say that the internet brand does not transfer into real life is totally false. It's totally false. It translates so much that you be can become rich off the internet today, sitting in your room, sitting in your office at home, in front of a camera, making quality content and getting paid very well to do it. So to try to build this like weird argument that basically he's trying to belittle destiny's brand and and destiny's success even though he's chasing the same thing you're you're competing with destiny for the same thing come on now man i just think that's such a straw man argument and i think it's a very cringy argument to do on the internet <laughs> like so we got to give another point to destiny Te destiny is up for one let's continue if you I'm just keep saying you're angry, you think you can hey, empath that into my brain? Here's the thing about people like you, it's the dishonesty that yeah, gets tell me. I'm so dishonest. You that's why my whole life story is on my website, my dude. Hold on one second. Tell, me how, second. tell me how dishonest I am. I got all the seconds in the world, my dude. You take all the time to go through my clips. Before you played my clip on your channel, I'd never heard of you. Bruv, I still haven't heard of you. I still have no idea channel. who the f 
and you are. Today, the only reason I've played anything of your channel is because a woman messaged me, I had a conversation will, with her, and I then I watched her on respond. your show. Do you have to over talk? Oh, okay, go for it. If I have a chance to respond, go for it. Yeah, absolutely you will, absolutely. It's just that you just lied and you claimed that someone's using you for clout when last I checked, you made a live stream and you brought my clip on there. And then you did a second live stream, live stream and you watched my clip at length. So you brought me into the situation. I didn't bring you into the situation. So don't lie about that. Now, now the floor is yours to respond directly to you claiming I'm using you for clout when you brought me onto oh, your stream man. twice oh, man. by a video. Yeah, this was obviously some type of thing that he has going on for his audience. This is not a real debate. All the thing, the different talking points that he's bringing up is purely just to try to embarrass uh, Destiny to his audience to try probably try to have them, you know, start donating and whatever the case may be. It's no genuineness at all within this conversation. The objective of this conversation was purely to just embarrass Destiny. That's literally it. There is no substance. There is no real dialogue. It's just Destiny comes on the platform. You hurl insults at him and try to amuse your conservative audience so yeah we're gonna have to go ahead and chalk it up destiny gets the dub on this one i think he handled himself very well for a guy who was misled into getting into this conversation to actually have a debate about real topics and honestly i think that if the debate would have actually happened destiny probably would have won because to be honest i've seen destiny debate many people many scholars many in real life people in real life that are in these different fields and he holds his own as if he's another you know extension of these different fields so i would have i would if i was to have to put my money on either of the two in a real debate setting i would put my money on destiny just because i know what type of what type of skill destiny brings to the table you dig so let me know what you guys think let me know who you guys believe won the debate and uh, i'm curious to see you guys' comments go ahead and let me know if you enjoyed the video Video, get a video a thumbs up if you like this type of content go ahead and subscribe it's your boy rj finish him i'm out see y'all on the next one deuces you too